Hey guys, Spencer Williams here, founder of Williams Wealth Creation, and I am here to teach everyone through Sales University an overview of how to make sales and start a successful online business. With a referral, you only obtain the name and phone number, and then you have to make a cold call. Due to this, a better option is to get an introduction because an introduction will put you in a better position to make a sale. It is best to get the introduction while you are there, and the benefits of an introduction are that it builds confidence in your prospective client, which makes it way easier to get them as a client. To further understand this, we're gonna cover positive and negative positioning as a salesperson when you're meeting with your clients. As aforementioned, when you get an introduction, you are positively positioning yourself to close the sale with your client or prospective client. While perfectly positioning your client is the best way to position your client, it is nearly impossible and instead, you should focus your efforts on the more attainable positive position. Negative positioning is with a cold call because immediately when they pick up, your prospective client will be on the defensive. With, the, with negative positioning, right? their immediate thoughts revolve around why they would ever trust a stranger and how they don't need you, your product or service. And they will think of any objection or any excuse to not buy your product or service. Because of this negative positioning, it will be extra difficult to persuade them against these initial thoughts than if the customer was positively positioned. This is why intros are so important as they set your prospective client or client up to be positively positioned and makes it less work and time to make the sale and seal the deal. Positive positioning through an intro makes all the decisions your client makes confidence-based, which instills trust in them. There are two strategies to positively position yourself with an introduction. Strategy one is about making yourself referable by creating client capital. For this strategy, you must establish a relationship that goes deeper than just the initial sale so they become a lifelong client and you can break into their power base to sell to them too. Now, creating client capital forms a strong intertwining bond between you and your client, and as a result, they will be confident in your abilities. Strategy two covers what we're about to go over, which is the eight-step process for acquiring introductions. So now we'll go over the steps. Step one, is to confirm your client's confidence in you by asking them how they have felt about the work you two have done together so far. This is framing for the introduction, and this is important because the client will decide whether or not to make the introduction based on the costs and benefits they analyze of the relationship the two of you have together. Step two is to ask your client for help, saying, I need your help, which is quite possibly the most moving set of words you can say to a client. This shows your client that you are reciprocating with them by also opening up to them which makes your client more sympathetic towards you. Once you say you need their help, you can then proceed to explain to your client that you are looking for people you could offer your product or services to. Step three will be to describe your perfect client. Now, be cautious when choosing your words for this step because you need to tell your client exactly what kind of prospective client you are looking for. This makes it more likely they will introduce you to a prospective client as they will know which characteristics they have in common, which makes it easy for your client to search for your perfect client. Now, step four is to help your client in his venture to find prospective clients for you. You should picture it as a joint business venture you two are working on and reassure them they don't have to be from the same city and reassure them of other things similar to that. Now, step five is to qualify your prospects by obtaining as much information about the prospects that you and your client have found. Step seven is to thank your client for their assistance and time. And step eight, is to keep your client informed on your process. I hope this lesson on how to obtain introductions has been helpful, helpful for all of you entrepreneurial viewers. Be sure to check out the video next week, as well as our sales mastery program at williamswealthcreation.com. If you wanna join our sales mastery program or you are a corporation that wants to systemize a sales team and train that sales team to execute, reach out to me. I have the number one program in Canada and it worked for me and has proven to work for many of my clients and it will work for you too. I'll catch you guys in the next video.